It's Rich Baum with Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California. I'm an interiors photographer. I do real estate. I do commercial. I do designer photography. I also do weddings and sports and stuff. But uh, really, my main focus lately is on high-end real estate. And uh, when I can get it, I get it. And I really like it. I had this beautiful house. And um, someone asked me to do a tutorial on lighting a fairly large space and this is kind of a nice sized bedroom but it will be a good tutorial to uh, show you more of what I, I normally show you how I would tackle a different room and here's a really nice room and uh, aside from the uh, bedspread I bugged me but uh, I dealt with it anyway um, we have windows to deal with we have another room back here to deal with we have a ceiling up high ceiling Actually, there was a, this ceiling has a, another ceiling. You can actually see here, it opens up to that. But uh, let's see the finished one there. Anyway, um, but I didn't like that composition. So I'm going to show you how I did this one. And without any further ado, let's start and show you what shots I took. Um, on this one, I started with um, my lit shot. And that was this right here. Okay, I probably put up a triple, three young nuos on a bracket, on a tall stand, and probably put them up just probably camera left a little bit. I could have probably gone camera right, uh, but I put it up maybe uh, a foot, 12 inches, 12, 18 inches below the ceiling, pointing straight up right back here. Uh, you can't see it, um, and it would be right next to camera. Then... My next shot, and I exposed it for the room. I'm not worried about that uh, that hot spot here. I'm not worried about the exposure in the bathroom. I'm only going to use these lights for the shot, and I'll show you how. Um, I got a little bit of shine here I'm not worried about. Uh, I've got a little bit of reflection here I'm not worried about. I may have even had another YN560 on a stand in this room to add a little more light. I think here, uh, extra lighting power strength really helps anyway the next shot i'm gonna do i think i did my window pull next window exposure because here's the deal i have a very nice window here this is perfect i even like it up here but right here i've got an issue so i just pointed my flash here and i'm not going to worry about that all i care about is this one run here right here and right up here so if you look here this i need to fix here and that exposure is good but right here I needed to fix the uh, reflection in the window and there you have it I'm, it fixed it so I will just mask in that then I have an ambient shot which I'm going to mask in some ambience uh, this one is mainly though for this bathroom and as you can see I needed to uh, get a little light in there and I don't even have a light in there. I'm just using um, an ambient shot. So I'm going to use that for for the um, for the bathroom. And um, I'm actually going to use another. Let me see here. This is the finished shot. What did I use here? Yeah, I think I'm not. I think I'm only going to use this ambient shot. Okay, because I've got. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, mostly this shot is mostly lit interior. So it's a little less uh, ambient than I would normally do, but this agent really wanted it to snap and pop and be sharp and whatever. So that's what I went for. So anyway, I'm going to highlight, as I always do, the frames that I want to work with, which we're just going to do three. I'm going to right click. Oh, you know what I'm going to do before I do that? Let's go here. And um, actually, I did it. I, I did my special sauce let me go back here and bring this one back to this is out of camera so i'm going to just do the actually it's got the perspective correction on this too and by the way this was done with my 16 to 35 nikon and my d750 400 iso 1 1 60th of a second so i need a lot of power but it gave me a really nice sharp it gave me the window pull so anyway, not the window pull, but the window exposure. So anyway, um, on this one, I, uh, I did the special sauce just to get the windows really, really nice at what I want to see them. 
And the ambient shot, actually, I don't, I'm not going to use any shadow recovery. But I've got the highlights here, and I'm going to expose it for in here, because that's the really thing. I'm, I'm going to use a lot of it here, but this is what I'm mostly concerned with. So I've adjusted each of the three frames in Lightroom to the specified amounts that I'm going to need to put them together. Okay, editing. I go to open as layers in Photoshop. And as I always do, this is the same pretty much as always. And uh, we've moved on from just doing two frames at a time. We're doing now three frames. So what I'm going to do um, for you, and I really haven't been doing it for myself, is to, um, is to um, just name the files so you know which one is which. And I'll show you that technique right here. Okay, and you can see this is a good example. We'll go over, I'll show you this shot. This is how I do the window shot. Let's just look at that for a second. This is how I'm doing it. I'm pointing it straight at the window. I'm probably at uh, quarter or half power. And the window shot, I just stayed at 160th of a second because I was happy with my exposure here and uh, didn't need to change it. I just wanted to make sure I had no glare there. I got it over here now, but it doesn't matter because I don't have it there. So that's how we do it. Anyway, let's go back into here. Okay, so this top layer is, I'm gonna double click and I'm just gonna go lit. That's the lighting shot. The one down here I know is my window and the one below it, in, we don't even need it do that. AM, the I, and T, ambient shot. Okay, so what I want to do is put my lit shot on the bottom, okay, ambient shot above it, and I'm going to close, I'm going to turn off the window shot because I'm not dealing with that yet. So I've got this here, and I want to highlight that, okay, so the ambient shot is going to be, I'm going to mask in ambient. So I put it on top of the lit shot, and I hold down my option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC and add a layer mask. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. This is a shot. Now again, it's pretty. Um, it's pretty. Uh, as Scott Hargis would probably say, it's not a very sexy shot, and that's very true. But it does have a lot of pop to it. But I'm going to add in some ambient. But first, what I want to do, and I think this is how I did it. I want to get the uh, the room in here. I'm going to take my selection tool and I'm going to highlight the doorway. This is something I don't think I've done a lot of for you guys. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to paint it in lightly. Okay? But now I'm going to take out my paintbrush like I always do for masking. I'm on white here. I am at 3% flow. 100% opacity and a soft brush. I do this every time so nothing changes. You can see it's black here, so I'm going to paint in. Let's expose that room. All I'm doing is exposing an ambient shot. Okay. Not bad, huh? You know, and for this shot, I could have put lights in here. But I promise you, with this up here, it would have been a nightmare. Really would have taken a lot out of me. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Good. Okay, now let me go up into here. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm just going to select in here. And I probably could have do it another way. But as I tell people, I am not the Photoshop professional. If you need it done... If you need an expert at Photoshop, you got the wrong guy. But I know just enough for what I need to do. There we go. Okay. Another one here. So this is pretty easy. You could actually probably do it freehand in here. Okay. So let's do this. Paint it in. Okay. And then here, paint it in. And, you know, I've seen Mike Kelly's videos, and Mike is much more, uh, much more, 
fastidious about getting everything perfect. But then again, I'm just getting a normal fee for this uh, real estate fee. And I got to be honest, uh, it's working for me. And I don't want to say to ever do less than, uh, than your best work. But I think this is, for what it is, it's quite good. Okay, now I have, I'm going to go back to Lightroom and look at my ambient shot. Here we are. I think I can mask in this part for the shine here. So I'm at 3%. I'm just going to mask and watch this. It's kind of like what you do with ceiling fan shadows. Okay. There we go. Okay. Not perfect. There we go. Let's get a little bit in here. Okay. But not bad. So um, here is what was there before. Look at the shine right here. So basically the ambient just took out the shine and the ambient is the light in the room. Okay, now let's move on to here. Now I'm just going to go and mellow out a little bit of this here. Okay, let me see now. I'm going to take care of this, uh, this right here. There we go. I guess I should be talking while I'm doing this because it's probably pretty boring, but this isn't perfect. And I could actually bring in another layer if I wanted to, and probably it would uh, be better, but I'm just trying to get in and out quick. Okay, let me, now I'm just going to erase a little bit of that. Okay, I'm at 2% flow on eraser. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Someone said to try it a different way. Just do X here. Watch this. X will turn it to black and it will, I can paint back in the, I can paint it backwards. Okay, so I made two people happy here. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to white here so I can paint in. So again, if you want to, instead of going to your eraser tool, everybody's been telling me to just go press X and it will switch between painting and erasing, painting and erasing. So I'm back to painting. Anyway, I'm not going to deal with this right now. Uh, I can deal with it with the lit shot. That ambient shot wasn't really looking real good there. So I don't like that at all, so I'm not going to deal with it now. Okay, so we're painting at 3%. I'm going to enlarge, make my brush bigger. I want to get out this shine right here. There we go. Look, it's bringing a little bit of niceness to here. Okay, there we go. And the ceiling, if I look back on my ambient shot, the ceiling is nice and white here. So what am I going to do here? I'm just going to paint in. Actually, I'm going to select my uh, ceiling just because I don't want to go over too much. I don't really have to do that, but it's actually faster and easier for me to do this than to try and watch my painting. Okay, so let's go paint in. We want to get rid of this color cast. Look at that. Sweet, huh? Okay. There we go. Not perfect, but uh, you know what? It's pretty fast, I will admit. And I'm going to uh, just deselect that. Okay, so let's look again here. Okay, now... Let me go in and paint in a little more ambience. Okay, here we go. Nope, I don't like the ambient in there at all. See, the ambient shot I'm using for this is kind of bright. If I was going to mask in ambience, I would probably mask in something a little darker. But again, I wanted to uh, have a nice light shot mainly to fill this in here. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now, what we want to do is actually, I'm going to bring in a little more ambient there. Okay. Good. Okay, now I'm going to take my window shot. I want to get rid of this right here. I'm going to bring my window shot down just above the lit shot. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to just Go to here. I'm going to add a layer mask. Hold down Option key. And there we go. Okay. So 
where I'm going here is I'm just going to start painting in my lit shot. Let me bring up the flow a little bit. I don't mind 50%. Here we go. I'm just free painting this in. Okay. I don't know if, uh, let me try darken mode. If darken worked, oh, good. I could use darken because I've overexposed my window frame. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Let me go in here, see if I can get it better here. Oh yeah, even nicer there. Ooh. Okay, we have a little bit of wind. You can see the, the uh, leaves have moved. Okay, so if I paint it in completely, I won't get a, a ghosting effect. And actually, I could probably darken that out. No, I'm not going to worry about that. I had to do this whole house, and I was worried that I wouldn't get it all finished in the amount of time I have. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to fix here is I'm going to try and see if this ambient shot, I'm going to look at this, I'm sorry, the lit shot. If I'm going to look at it, you know what? I'm going to mask in the window right here because this looks better than that okay so let me go back into here i'm going to move out just a little bit i'm back into painting and i'm going to go back to three percent because i don't want to do too much here we go let's go into here beautiful okay there we go that was the ticket use the uh window shot okay so let's bring it out Let's see here beautiful okay and I'm happy with the exposure up there pretty cool house I, I do have to say so one thing I'm gonna do because I want to take it one step further for oh you know one thing I wanted to do too look here this has got a shine to it and let's look at the floor here I'm gonna go mask in some of that because I wanted to get rid of the shine too. Remember, we're just trying to use parts of shots to um, get the overall shot great. Okay, so I'm back to here. I'm just gonna paint in some of that window shot, which actually had a good floor to it. Better. Okay, and let me go click X because I wanna get rid of a little of this. Nope, actually I was wrong. I'm just gonna paint that out. Okay, I'm okay with that. There we go. Now, the other thing I want to do is just because I want to go one step further with this, and I wish I didn't have that bump in the bed. It drove me crazy. Anyway, I'm going back to here, and I want to go take a darker ambient shot like this. I'm going to take out the highlights. I'm back in Lightroom. And what I want to do here in Photoshop first is I just want to flatten this image because I want to bring in another another image. I could probably do it another way, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do Command E twice. Command E. There we go. Okay. I'm going to bring in one more ambient shot. So let me go and just do in Lightroom Command E. And I hope this isn't confusing you because we've now could have taken something that was very easy and made it a little more difficult. So I'm going to uh, arrange tile vertically. I'm going to drag in my photo that I want to mask in. I'm not going to save it. So now I've completely de I can't go backwards. I'm going to do hold the option key, add a layer mask. And all I'm going to do here is at 3%, I want to add in a little bit of ambient here, a little darker. Okay, give it a little more, a little more life. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, a little cutting it down just a little bit, the brightness. Okay, and then we can bring it in here. Okay, bringing in a look at this right up here. You can really see it's adding a little bit of life underneath here. And again, the agent I did this for wanted it bright and snappy, but now that I have you here, I'm adding a little more life here. You can see, I can even bring it into here. There we go. Yeah, oops, I don't like that. I'm 
go just a little bit here. Right here. Okay. Now I'm going to paint out also. Somebody says if you look really closely, you can see a faux pas. Look at there. Hello. Anyway, I'm going to paint that out with this ambient shot. Okay. So with all these different shots, you can fix so many things. I mean, it's really amazing. If you have the, the workflow in your mind, you can just take the pictures. When you get home, you can totally uh, fix anything you've got to deal with, as long as you have the ammunition. So let me go out here. Yeah, this TV's looking a lot better. There we go. And I could actually do the whole, okay, I'm getting way involved here. Spending way more time than I even did to deliver the photo. But you guys are worth it. Okay, I'm just going to select this and uh, paint it back here. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Huh? Much nicer. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I want to just... Add in uh, a little more shadows here, a little more ambience. Look at that, it's taking out that nice shadow right there. Look at this cool light he had here. A lot of really cool stuff. Okay, I'm kind of boning myself though. I'm I'm masking out the pop, but I've already delivered the image, and I'll show you the difference between the two. Actually, you know what? I don't even like that that much. So I'm going to go erase a lot of what I just did. There we go. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So I hope that uh, this didn't confuse you. And I hope that uh, you, you like what I did and it will help you. Always remember, please feel free to contact me. Um, rich at richbaum.com and let me know uh, what you want me to work on and uh, leave a nice comment in the uh, YouTube or you can um, I'm gonna bring this back into Lightroom you can leave a thumbs up send me an email or send me a message in one of the Facebook groups okay so here is the uh, the one I delivered and here is the one I just did so let me see here if I can see any big difference. Yeah, look up here, right there. I like that much better. Much more natural light coming in. Okay, and the shine here is good. I like that. And the floor, I think I like the original floor better, but they're just different. And I had a little more ambient in here, so it, it's different. But... That's uh, for you to decide what you want to do. So Rich Baum, signing off from beautiful Sacramento, California. Bye.